Birds. These alluring and edible creatures have captivated mankind ever since they first took to the skies. In this short infomentary, we'll cover all the basics you need to become an avid birds watcher, as well as a more rounded individual, an interesting dinner party host, and a compassionate lover. Firstly, location is key. This fenland is the perfect place to spot a tufted felcher. Whereas this street in the northwest of England is unlikely to yield a Chesney hawk. Distance is also key. These birds are too far away to be of any use whatsoever. While this bird is far too close. <laughs> Back off, bird. Studying bird behaviour is as rewarding as it is fruitless, as it so often mimics human behaviour. These gangly birds have had a domestic. Notice how the male stands off to one side, sulking whilst trying to look proud. In the meantime, the female busies herself with inane household chores and pretends like nothing's happened. Neither will admit they're in the wrong. This bird has misplaced his favourite seed and is looking everywhere for it. This duck has just lost an argument and is trying to save face. This bird has had enough of the other bird's drama and just needs some time to himself. You'll need the following things if you're ever to propel yourself into the big leagues of bird watching. A notepad with which to record all your birdings. A few tea bags. And of course a flask to attack rival birders. You don't need loud obnoxious bird books. And remember, boiled bird feathers make a great on the go snack. Just make sure to add a pinch of garlic powder to neutralise the poison. We hope this documercial has been useful to you, the snotty nosed novice and that one day you'll be up there with the birds watching greats like all of them. Until then, look after our feathered friends because who knows, one day they might be saving your life.